Hello, in this video, we're going to sketch the vector field. We have f of x, y, z equals z times k hat. Let's go ahead and carefully work through this solution. Let's start by rewriting our vector field. This is really z, and then it's times the vector k hat, which is one of the unit vectors. Its first component is zero, its second component is zero, and its third component is one. This is one of the special unit vectors. And z is a number, so if we distribute this through, we basically get z times 0, which is 0, z times 0, which is 0, and then z times 1, which is z. So given an ordered triple, x, y, z, our vector field sends this to a vector, which is 0, 0, z. These notations often used in mathematics to define functions, so we take the ordered triple and send it to a vector. Okay, let's go ahead and try to do a rough sketch of the vector field. So here's the z-axis, and then I'm gonna put the x-axis down here, and as for the y-axis, I'm gonna draw it like this. So this is the y-axis. Think carefully here about what our graph is going to look like, what our sketch is going to look like. So if we pick, say, a point here, the z coordinate is fairly small. If we take x, y, z, z is fairly small here, so we have a smaller vector here. Likewise, um, if I pick one here, the z coordinate is fairly small in magnitude, but it's negative, right? Because the negative z axis is down here. So it's gonna look something like this. Whereas if I pick one up here, the z coordinate's a little bit bigger, and it's positive, so it's gonna go a up a little bit higher. The magnitude is a little bit bigger. Likewise up here, it's a little bit bigger etc. So up here the vectors are bigger, and then the closer you get here, the smaller the vectors get. And once you get down here to the negative z-axis, the vectors go down. If you're down here, the vector is larger in magnitude, but again going down. And that's the idea for sketch of this vector field up here would be smaller again because it's a smaller uh, z coordinate in magnitude. Here it's somewhere in the middle. So, this is a pretty good sketch, a rough sketch of what our vector field uh, would look like. So, again, down here close to, you know, for small values of positive z, you get smaller vectors. For bigger values of positive z, you get longer vectors. Here, for um, values of z that are closer to zero, the magnitude is smaller and it's negative, so it's going down. And then values of z down here are, are larger in magnitude, but they're negative, so the vectors are going down and they're longer. And that's the idea. So hopefully uh, this video has helped you a little bit in the sketching of vector fields. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to check out more videos. Until next time, good luck.